What's up, boys? Today, we're going to be doing a player review on Team of the Season, Yannick Carrasco. This is the first Team of the Season card I have used this FIFA, and I'm going to say I am not disappointed at all. This might be one of the best cards I've used in this game, which is surprising. I used Carrasco's card a lot earlier in the year when he had a bunch of the informs, but he, this card is so good. He is so fast, so agile, and so quick. Take a look, he's 6'1", but he feels like he's 5'8 in game, and if you don't really know that much about height and how it affects players. Lower height really makes the players feel real sticky, real smooth on the left stick. And for this guy being 6'1", to feel the way he does is incredible. High high work rate is a bit weird for an attacking player, but doesn't really seem to impact him that much. But it's nice for a midfielder, especially if you're playing a 4-4-2, to have him defend and get up and down the pitch. Right-footed, four-star, four-star, nothing to complain about. Oh, yeah! There for the pace. 97 acceleration with 97 sprint speed. The 96 is the base stat, and... He's rapid. He is so rapid. It is not even funny. I have an engine on him, engine on him right now, and I think it is definitely the stat to have because he fell so fast and so silky in game. It was honestly absurd. He was a player where I would get the ball and I would just dribble with him without sprinting. He would feel faster than players sprinting, and then I would hold sprint and he would just take off. I would do a little bit of the, the dribble boost when you do L, L2 and then R1 and then release, and he would just fly past defenders. Absolutely incredible speed from this guy. Shooting, 91 base stat, but the in-game stats are very, very solid with 95 shot power, 91 finishing, and 90 attack positioning. That's the thing about these TOTS cards is the finishing stats, the passing, the, the, the stats that usually are somewhat average become very heightened and the stats that are good become absolutely elite and it's just, it's so good, so good to have. 79 volleys isn't bad, penalties is good with 91 so you could take pens with him, but overall his finishing was good, he scored a lot of near post shots, a lot of long shots with 92 long shots, attack positioning, he was always in the right spot, I played him both wide and as a, as a cam and striker so I think he can play pretty much anywhere on the pitch, you can play him at striker, I didn't, he works really well at striker with the finishing, with the pace. Passing wise, I did play him at Cam. I wouldn't really recommend Cam, but he still does do a good job with 91 short passing and 84 long passing, 93 curve and 93 crossing help with the, being a wide player. Wide players need to be good at crossing and he obviously can be good at crossing, which helps with a lot of the over the top through ball stuff like that when you do play him centrally. But if you're going to play him in his, his known position as a left mid, left wing, he is going to really be good at cutting inside crossing and hitting it on the left because he does have a four star weak foot. 93 crossing is good and the free kick accuracy is pretty good as well with 91 the short passing and long passing are decent and moving on to the drilling this is where i felt like the biggest surprise from the card because he doesn't have great balance he's six one which is a bit tall but he felt so responsive with 96 agility 81 balance 81 balance gets a plus nine plus eight with the engine chem style i think engine is the best chem style for him reactions is 88 doesn't get touched with the chem style but i think it's honestly fine being 88 he felt more than more than fine on the ball more than fine defending and pressing 90 this is where it gets 94 ball control and 97 drumming this is why i think this guy is such a good dribbler left stick dribbler because of these main stats he is so solid on the ball he which rarely gets taken from him. And the thing with him being 6-1 and feeling this is you can honestly shield with the ball. I would get the ball with him, turn my back to a defender, and then spam L2 to try and shield, and it worked out really, really well. Stamina-wise and physical-wise, he is pretty solid with its 96 stamina. That's the best thing about these TOTS cards is the stamina gets boosted on cards that usually don't have great stamina. Strength and aggression isn't great, but it's not bad by any means. He's not going to head the ball for you that much, even though he is 6-1. And player trades, he's got long shot taker, flair, and speed dribbler. I wouldn't say average traits, I'd say a little bit above average traits, but it's not like out to the foot shot or finesse shot, but it definitely does help with the long shots. He scored a couple long shots. He's very smooth on the ball thanks to the flair and the speed dribbler trait. And linking him, you can link this guy with a lot of players, a lot of strong links. There's a lot of Atletico Madrid strong links. I don't think there are too many Belgian um, La Liga strong links, but we're just going to take a look real quick. Belgian players from La Liga real quick on concepts just to let you guys know what you guys are working with there is Courtois but you're not going to link him with a keeper it, it pretty much is Eden Hazard but Eden Hazard I don't think is going to get a team a season card because he hasn't really played that much so the strong links you can get with him are Atletico Madrid players and there are a bunch of them there is team of the season Suarez which strong links which I think would be a deadly combo even for birthday Suarez would be a deadly combo to link up top. Same thing, Joao, Joao Felix, 90 Adidas card. That card does damage up top, very, very solid. You can strong link him with Koke as well. Koke, I, I did a play with that guy a while ago. He is very solid. And you're not going to link him with a center back or a goalkeeper, so that's not really a big deal. There is the, the flashback Griezmann if you have him. Marcos Llorente, 
there's a lot of a lot of a lot of strong links and you also have all of the La Liga team of season cards that are gonna come in in the coming weeks and you also have 95 Dembele Marcelo if you want to link on the right side Pedri there is so many good La Liga players La Liga is probably one of the best leagues to build a squad around this year and yeah, that's the biggest thing. Get Ken with this guy. You can play him in a formation where you lock him up with a strong link. Just get Suarez or, or uh, Joao Felix, play a 4-4-3, and he works really, really well. One thing I do want to mention is this guy had very good heel to heels, very good fake shots, and his left stick was just something else. For 88,000 coins, I think it's insane. The, the card I bought has already had 38 games, played with him, 32 goals, and around 23 assists. So he's getting about a goal a game, more than a goal a game, combined with assists, and... For 88k, I've used I've used players for 88k that have been so much worse than this. I've used players for hundreds of hundred thousands of coins that have been so much worse than this. So this is probably, in my opinion, one of the best value attacking players in the game. And I only expect his price to go up when he goes out of pack. So if you're thinking about picking him up, I think picking him up now for 88,000 coins is definitely definitely a steal. He's about that now on the market. I don't know. I think he is about that. Let's just check the price real quick. I did buy him a couple couple days ago. Played a fair amount of games with him. So. Yeah, he is a bit higher now. He's around 90, 91k, so a couple couple thousand coins higher, but then not 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 such such a big deal. But for a Todd's card, he is something else for the price and for being a community team of season. Before the La Liga team of seasons have even come into packs, you already have a insanely good left mid because we all know Vinicius Jr. is probably gonna get the left winger card for La Liga, but there might be another left left mid, left wing on the bench. So having Carrasco as an option, more of a cheaper option as opposed to Vinicius Jr. for La Liga is definitely good. He's been very, Carrasco's been very good over the years in FIFA. I used him a lot last year in FIFA. FIFA 21 team of season card. It was similar to this, but I think this one is clear. He is the fastest card I've used in a while. I haven't, there's fast cards. And then there's a card where you pick up the controller, you dribble with him, you go, damn, that card's fast. This is one of those. The card was rapid. He was blowing past all center backs. And yeah, just a very solid card all around. But that's going to do it for the video, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what Team of Season cards you want to see reviewed on the channel. What kind of videos you want to see coming up. Team of Season is here and we are here to review. So